a cheater. I don't need to. I am not half of the boxer I was five years ago. I don't need to cheat. I don't even need strength, like I told you today on, on the press conference. I may not be stronger than you, but I don't need it. I have the intelligence and my capability of learning, which I believe is one of my biggest virtues. And I've had learned so much that what I got is enough. I will fight to prove my innocence. And I will fight for my career not to end up like this. I don't deserve it. I didn't work this hard to leave it to your hands and to your big mouth. What's good? Stormy B-Man and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man's Briefs. This time the focus is on a video upload by Hannah Gabriels expressing her concerns for being innocent and not guilty as charged for popping dirty with PEDs, which led her to be pulled from the upcoming undisputed title defense of Clarissa Shields to take place Saturday, June 3rd, which will be tomorrow. Gabriels took to social media to upload this information. It is strictly her words coming out in defense of herself, and she says that she will fight for her innocence in this accusation. I have to say that there has been a tremendous amount of focus recently on my channel talking about fighters that are popping dirty. And again, as this event will commence with Clarissa now taking on Maricela Conejo, uh, Hannah Gabriels is being left behind and she's being looked at sideways for whatever has transpired that took her out of being a part of this event. The one thing that I want to say about this is, and I did a video on this and I've talked about this on this channel numerous times, accountability in boxing is lacking tremendously. Not once has any fighter who has popped dirty or has been questioned about their ethic has claimed accountability over their careers. No one has ever stepped forward and say, you know what, I messed up, I need help, and I would like to seek help. That alone could change things for people. But we're in a society now where there's no accountability and no one wants to man up and admit to their mistakes. They expect to be given par gras. They expect to be uh, overlooked for their shortcomings and not held accountable for them. And this is bad because what are we leaving as a legacy for our children, for people who are coming on to try to participate and be a part of a process or a sport or some type of uh, way of earning a living for oneself and no one is held accountable for their wrongdoings. I really feel disheartened by this and when you look at Hannah Gabriels, the successes that she's had in her career, as well as her shortcomings where she has lost fights, you have to really wonder exactly how long has this gone on? And not just for Gabriels, but for so many other fighters. Gabriels is now 40 to 41 years old and she still wants to compete in the sport. But Prime years as far as boxing have passed her by. So it is not out of the question that someone would seek some type of physical assistance to help them compete at this level. Clarissa Shields is still in her late 20s, prime. But what do you think? Let's talk about it and discuss further. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share.